You gotta, you gotta dig a little extra on the ship. You're already working long shifts. The ship is moving around. You, you, the food isn't what you want it to be. Sometimes there's not enough of it. But if you take an attitude of, well, I'm not eating good, so I'm not gonna worry about working out, you're just gonna double down on lack of fitness, which is not a good idea. So you know, that's one thing that people, I know you know, in the Navy you run into, you're on a ship, sometimes there's not a lot of space to work out, sometimes the equipment isn't what you want it to be. And that's why I think, well for one thing, you can always have calisthenics, as you know, you can always do burpees, you can always do jump squats, you can always do push-ups. I've always found that you could find places to do pull-ups. I used to actually travel with a pipe. So whenever we'd go somewhere, we would just find somewhere and we'd mount that thing and we'd do pull-ups. Because really, if you can do pull-ups, you can do push-ups and you can do squats, you're pretty good to go, you know? If you can do handstand push-ups, you know, if you really want to get your shoulders, that's with nothing. So with almost with no equipment other than a pipe, you can usually get a good workout. Yeah. And on the carrier, especially for the sailors that do deploy or will deploy, those gyms are insanely crowded and it gets on your nerves sometimes. It's something you have to deal with and you have to get your workout in. So like he said, find a way to do pull-ups, find a way to do push-ups in your burden if you can. Maybe some air squats, some body weight workouts if you don't have any equipment. So you gotta get it in. Yeah, another little compact thing you can bring with you is a kettlebell. You know, mm -hmm. you can always bring a 32 kilogram kettlebell or whatever size you need. Yeah that you can always bring that with you and that gives you a bunch of different options. Even if you just bring one kettlebell with you, it gives you a lot of different options that you can do. You can, you can carry it, you can, you can do all kinds of variations of push-ups on that thing. You can hang it off of yourself when you're doing pull-ups. There's a lot of variations you can do with a kettlebell that I think are, are effective too. Not to mention, you know, goblet squats and just there's so many varieties that you can do swinging the kettlebell, snatching the kettlebell. So there's a lot of things, you know, having a kettlebell is a good little option to have too when you're traveling if you're on a ship, you know, I, I think. Uh, yeah, so I mean, I was just warming up here, but, you know, this right here, this is a kettlebell snatch. It's a good movement. It's, a, it's really a good full body movement, you know, to work through. That's a solid one. Yeah, that's another thing is people, people think they, they see someone and they go, well, he does that, but I don't really like it. You know, I look at it, do what you like, do what you enjoy. Don't go and force yourself to do something that you don't, that, that's not your type of workout. If you like lifting weights, go lift weights. If you like running, go running. If you like kettlebells, do kettlebells, you know? Sometimes you gotta get out of your comfort zone, you know? And you definitely should squat, regardless of who you are, and you're probably not gonna like it. You should do squats, but, but, uh, you know, find something that you kind of enjoy doing and then set little goals for yourself on what you're going to do and get stronger. You know, it's, it's a never-ending journey trying to stay in shape. For the people that aren't, aren't familiar with the workout, it's important to go look at the correct form if you don't want to be performing the exercise wrong and injure yourself. Like for the first time, I was trying kettlebell snatches. I learned to flip my watch around to this side because I cracked my watch. That kind of comes up. It's your wrist. That's a good lesson. Yeah, it was, it was an expensive watch too, so I didn't let it happen again. Yeah. I never really had an expensive watch. And then, like I said, pull-ups. Pull-ups are a great exercise to do. Um, I read that there's no obese person that can do a pull-up. Like it doesn't exist. So, so I figure if you keep doing pull-ups, you won't be obese. You won't be obese. <laughs> you know, for something like this, I might combine these two exercises, real simple exercises, you know, kettlebell swings, do some kettlebell swings and then do some pull-ups. So, um, if I was to do something like that, I might do 20, 20 kettlebell swings each hand, and then 40 pull-ups, and then uh, you know, 15, and 30, and then 10, and then five. You know, something like that. Little, little uh, workout. No. And by the way, all these things, you know, as you know in the Navy, there's physical things you have to do. You gotta lift things, you gotta move around things, 
you got to be in situations that require physical strength. So the stronger you are, the better you're going to be able to do your job. Not to mention, you're healthier. When you're healthier, you think more clearly. You, you ever see someone that's in bad shape, and they're out of breath, and their heart's pumping, and they try and make a decision? It's hard for them. They make bad decisions. So the better shape you're in, the more clearly you'll be thinking, and the better decisions you can